Well, hello there, my friends. Today, we're going to be playing as the South African Defense Force once again, and this time, we're actually defending a somewhat cut-off area from a massive, massive Angolan attack. Uh, as you can see, Comrade is in the background. She is definitely supporting the MPLA. We know her political leanings. It's unfortunate, but this parrot is definitely a red. All right, let's go ahead and set these guys up. Um, I'm liking the jungle terrain here. I'm hoping that it's going to be perfect for our tanks to ambush the enemy. I don't want to keep any tanks out in the open. And actually, I think we should go ahead and put some guys on the crossroads. Maybe we can ambush some enemies uh, actually coming up the crossroads. So I'm going to put one guy right here. In fact, I might even put all our tanks right there. Just centered around the crossroads. We're going to turn this into a little ambush position. An ambuscade, right? Isn't that the correct term? I have no idea. Let's go ahead and set up our ambuscade. Uh, and we're going to take this stuff right here, all of this armor. And again, I'm putting them right there. I'm going to spread them out a bit, guys. Because I really want this entire tree line covered by our men. Hmm. We still have some uh, engineers, etc. They're not going to be of much assistance, but we are pretty much uh, putting are hoping that uh, that this is a, the proper defensive position. So we're putting any everything on this defensive area. We're going to go ahead, deploy, guys. Let's hope for the absolute best. Um, of course, like I said, the MPLA is doing a counterattack after their last victory. So we need to stop that counterattack uh, quickly, of course, uh, and try to put an end to it immediately. We've got quite a few very interesting vehicles here. I believe we've got some elephants. Uh, just a beautiful assortment here of, of tanks, etc., APCs. So let's hope that they know what they're doing. I'm actually really tempted to just slow move this guy up a bit, just a covert move with that tank. Okay, there she goes. Let's hope the Olufons grant us victory in this battle. Come back with the fighting begins. All right, guys, devastating fire coming on our position right now at the crossroads. You can see the enemy trying to wipe out our position with artillery. They've definitely zeroed in on the correct target. And again, many times in an artillery situation, the best thing to do is stay put, uh, or in a mortar situation specifically. If we move, that's probably exactly what the enemy wants us to do, is move into their line of fire. I just don't trust him. Another thing I'm going to do is just go ahead and change this tank's direction a little bit, have him face forward. Uh, with Matt Cinema, and I'm hoping these Olafons can really devastate the enemy here. But with all this artillery fire, I think it's going to be pretty damn difficult. A lot of our infantry are getting hit over here. I'm actually going to send a few of these guys up just to scout. Uh, let's actually take just a little few of these infantry units. I don't want to take the armor with them, though. Oh, never mind. We've got a target over there on the right-hand side, guys. Looks like one of our APCs spotted it first. That might be the advancing MPLA forces here. Come to take us away. We're not going to allow that to happen. Well, at least I hope we're not going to allow that to happen. Um, maybe we could actually take one of our APCs and do a covert move here. Or even a recon. Let's do a recon here. For all we know, the enemy could be attacking from all angles, but we aren't sure yet where they're attacking from. So we just want to prepare, obviously get, um, get an idea of where they are and obviously move in and uh, have a look, maybe even with these engineers. They're not really doing much back here, let's be honest. Maybe we'll send them in for some recon. All right, I'm seeing that gun, my goodness. Hell of a gun out there, guys, do you see that? Um, and I'm not getting close to it, I'm trying not to get close to it. It looks like our APC may have already taken a hit. Popping smoke just to be safe. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely taking a few hits here from that gun. Our only opportunity, or one of our only options, is going to be to try and approach it and fire at close range. At this distance, we definitely can't hit it. But I don't think I'm going to take the bait. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to stay put and just wait for enemy uh, units to assault. Of course, we could try and do an attack on Kanoka, the main village in the region. But I feel like that would be a crazy counterattack right now. We should just wait with our Olifants uh, for the enemy to get into sight and then take them out one by one. All right, guys, I want to keep you appraised of the situation. We're under so much fire that I've decided to take these, uh, this unit right here, not the Olifants, but our armored cars, and we are going to push on this area here on a full attack. 
So we're going to have plenty of infantry on the ground assisting here, um, as well as armored cars. The problem is these armored cars may convert very easy targets uh, for that enemy gun. So that's why I want to get up close and personal fast. Uh, we've already spotted some enemies, of course, out there in the distance, but not many. Maybe a few infantry squads and definitely that massive gun. That's my main target, but at this distance, I'm not sure we can take it out. Um, also thinking that that could be responsible for what's been bombarding our men over here. Let's hope our boys know how to deal with it. Of course, I'm keeping our Oliphant tanks back here. Um, I was thinking of maybe sending just one forward to assist. We'll see what happens, because we're going to take some pretty heavy hits from that gun. Let's go for it. We'll push forward with one Oliphant. I want to keep the other ones back here, um, defending essentially. And one of those uh, armored cars, of course, taken out already. Maybe not. Um, no, it has to be. We've got a burning crew there. It has to be. There we go. Okay, at least we're opening fire on the gun. That's definitely a start. And also a start for us to discover essentially where the enemy is going to be located here. Come on, baby. Come on. Let's take a look in that position. It's getting hit pretty hard, but of course it's got a... Damn, is that a heavy gun, man. Looks fully operational. The whole crew is there. Is that a pack? I think it's a pack gun. Um, or maybe a Zis, some sort of a Soviet weapon. Have to see, guys. Alright, I like this uh, armor and uh, assault here that we've got going. Now it looks like we've spotted enemy APCs here. That's definitely going to be a threat. I think now we take the Oliphants and follow up. So what I'm going to try to do, um, if this makes sense... Let's go ahead and grab our Oliphant tanks. Just our Oliphant tank. Just our Oliphant tanks. All right, we're going to have to do this manually. <laughs> and we're going to push forward on that position. In fact, I'll make it a fast move. I'll do the same with this tank. That's right, we're not actually attacking the objective here. We are pushing forward on that position right there. I know there's armor there. I know there's, uh, obviously, uh, enemy guns. So we're going to try to make the best of it. And it looks our, like our Oliphant went ahead and just pushed on through. Fair enough, son. Fair enough. Let's just have him stop here and defend. Oh, this is why I don't like the orders not going through immediately in this game. <laughs> it took him a while to actually uh, listen and understand the orders, and he's not stopping. Well, start firing on the enemy, and also, I hate his positioning. Come on now, man. Come on, come on. Turn that tank around at the very least. Oh! Alright, it's all up to the Oliphant. Definitely the Angolans know better than to attack our position. We're pretty nicely set up there for an ambush, and they are not taking the bait. Oh, did we just hit that vehicle? I believe we did, but I don't know if, I'm not sure if we knocked it out. I think it could still take a few more hits before it goes down. Okay to go ahead and advance. Let's go for it. Full push, boys. This order will take a little while to get down to the men, but I'm pretty sure they get the idea. Constant advance. Let's go. Love to see that South African infantry uh, prepared for, for the fight, of course. And I'm seeing some enemy infantry out there in the distance for sure. Maybe this is an entrenched position. Uh, I guess we'll find out when we get there, guys. Consistent machine gun fire, guys. And these are, of course, uh, rattles. Beautiful rattles. I like to see that there's many different variations of these. There's not just one variation of the rattle. One actually has a plexiglass screen. Uh, which is interesting. I think this one is a more, an even more armored version. With a nice gun on the front as well. Target him, come on, son. Okay, actually, this one doesn't have much the last screen. Push forward. Enemy infantry right in front of us. Yep, we got a few uh, 
actual MKLA troops there hiding in the brush. We'll try not to worry too much about it. Again, our target is still going to be enemy armor. Uh, enemy armor and, of course, uh, enemy anti-tank. Come on, tank. Come on. And that, of course, is our beautiful Oliphant going into battle, the MK-1A. face the enemy and keep on firing. It can take quite a pounding, but of course eventually they're going to break through. You can also kind of shock the crew. There we go, direct hit. Also direct hit by them, but I'm almost certain we took out one of those guns. Just focusing over here on the infantry. We don't need that. We need you to focus only on the enemy guns. As you can see, we've got some um, APCs here from previous battles. A lot of fighting has been done in this area against the MPLA troops. There we go, another beautiful shot there. That might have actually been infantry, uh, some sort of RPG. I'm not sure, but it looked like a slower projectile as it approached. A standard uh, projectile from a turret. Alright, that's another hit on that gun. She's still operational, but I think that eventually she's going to be taken out. Very, very soon, actually. Let's see a few scattered men. Do we see any bodies? bodies. Now this is going to be vengeance, of course, for the previous battle. The enemy really gave us a beating, and we are trying to repay that favor. Alright, look at that, guys. A whole bunch of infantry. Looks like they also abandoned the, uh, the anti-tank vehicle, or excuse me, the anti-tank gun there. Sorry, a bit crazy because I'm just so happy to see our guys actually succeeding on this assault. I didn't think it would be a good idea, and of course the enemy is asking for a ceasefire. We are not going to allow that to happen. It's time for our fun to have some fun. We've actually got the corpses here of previous bullet fonts. Um, so this should rile up the crew even more, or possibly just terrify the hell out of them. Either way, they're going to be putting up a really good fight uh, to try and keep the enemy away and to destroy them. So we'll go ahead, keep on firing on the infantry here, and maybe we'll even advance on that objective zone. That might be the best idea. I'm not sure I want to accept that ceasefire. I want to see if we can force the enemy to retreat. And sure enough, the Kanoka zone is definitely defended. You can see it's APCs over there. So I think after engaging this infantry, we'll go ahead and turn our attack over there. Of course, we've got some MPLA officers. I'd like to take them out. Uh, then I can ignore the rest of the enemy squad. Beautiful shot! My goodness! We don't have to worry about those officers anymore. For all we know, they could be Cuban officers uh, assisting, which is, of course, a better kill, because um, they have some more experience. Uh, but even if they're just standard MPLA officers, taking them out is going to help, of course. Now we're changing things completely, guys. Um, I'm going to take this right flank. I'm actually going to just specify specific troops and go ahead and push forward with them. I don't want to push forward with the entire group right now. So we'll keep that Oliphant there. Matensima. Matensima has been doing a great job. But I think that maybe this guy can do his job for him. And Matensima can proceed on to the Kinoka area. Let's go, boys. Had a successful day so far. Let's hope it keeps up. Just pushed the wreck out of his way. Such is the African battlefield. There are wrecks all over the damn place here. Looks like an airstrike has hit this area. there on the left. Um, we might as well just grab the infantry and send them in too. We've got the clerk here. Go for a standard just an all-out attack here on Kanoka uh, and see what positioning they've got. Also, I'm seeing uh, some smoke back there. That means one of the vehicles at Kanoka was hit. Maybe a lucky hit uh, from one of our RPGs. Look at that, man. No, it's just a house. Now, there is a dead soldier nearby, so apparently we hit the house, although he looks like he could be rotted. Yeah, he's pretty rotten, ripe out in the sun, so he's been here a while. Um, but it's funny that we actually fired a projectile that hit that house all the way in the back of the village. That villager must be the unluckiest guy in the world. Like, There's no way I'm going to be hit by the fighting, and sure enough, he's the first guy hit. 
Okay, I'm sorry, I'm already seeing uh, EPCs here. Oh, it falls, prepare. They're gonna have to have more defenses than that. I need you looking back, I need you looking forward, son. Oh, what's he shooting at? That round has just gone off into the, <laughs> off into the distance. Looks like lost by the curvature of the earth, even. All right, got some fire going on already. Uh, I'm gonna pu pu push uh, Matensima up. I'm gonna poo Matensima up, really, Ripa. So juvenile, so juvenile. Here we go. Nice hit, that's a direct hit for sure. But I definitely think to assault this position, we're gonna have to get some uh, infantry. And it looks like the enemy is gonna take off. Yeah, the enemy's getting out of here, guys. They're gonna uh, pretty much abandon the Matensima position, and we have taken that APC out. Yeah, they're going to abandon uh, the APC as well. The hatch is already open. They've gotten the hell out of here. And they're going to leave the Kanoka village open to our men. So, in fact, after that first loss when we did the uh, first look video, we've done a pretty good vengeance here. I don't think we're going to get many casualties on the enemy because it was mostly, um, you know, um, enemy material that we took out, guns and armor. But I still think it's going to account for quite a lot. Those guns are very important um, to the enemy for stopping our Oliphants. And I don't think that they're going to get in our way next time. As you can see, there are 27 enemy killed, 18 enemy heavily wounded. We lost 13 boys on our side, but we also took out a ton of enemy material there. Seven lost vehicles on the enemy side. Uh, two of those, of course, destroyed and are captured. Um, and, of course, we took out a truck, or actually an APC, uh, with a lot of those enemy guns. I believe three being completely blown to bits. Well, guys, thank you for watching. Again, if you liked this video, make sure to hit that like button, drop a comment down below, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. It would also be great if you would join me on Twitter at twitter.com slash AgrippaMaxentiU, no S, or Twitch at twitch.tv slash AgrippaMaxentius. Thanks again, guys. Catch you next time.